I will be demonstrating knitting with two colors using two hands. For those of us who knit English style or throw your yarn with your right hand, sometimes this can pose a challenge because normally you would need to drop one color from your right hand and, and then pick up the other color. But with this method, you do not need to drop your yarn at all. Simply keep, I like to keep the contrasting or less dominant color in my left hand and my right hand, which I normally knit with or throw with, uh, the main color. This is often used when you're knitting Norwegian sweaters in the round or say stranded knitting in socks. So I'm going to take the white yarn or my less dominant color and I'm going to pinch it in between my index finger and my middle finger to create some tension and then I can hold my dominant color with my right hand and knit that in my usual style. And for me that's just throwing it. So now it comes time to knit this first contrasting color and we're going to knit this continental style and even though I am an English style knitter I found this to be fairly easy. Go into that first stitch and come over the strand that's on my index finger and scoop it up and pull it through that loop and off. So I go into the stitch, scoop up that contrasting colored yarn and take the stitch off. So those two stitches were formed correctly and I never had to switch hands. Now I'll go back to my main color and when you get really proficient at this, you can go a lot faster. But in that stitch, the contrasting color in the white stitch, scoop up and pull up that yarn. And you can see that your tension will remain on there. You don't ever have to drop either of the colors. So into that stitch, kind of stretch it out, scoop up that contrasting thread into the stitch, go over that contrasting, scoop it up, and there you have it. And on the back we have nice strands of yarn, so everything is evenly tensioned. And now you can two color knit a little quicker. Happy knitting!